David here with a palm video on the Rapis, R-H-A-P-I-S Excelsa, commonly known as the Lady Palm. This palm is native to China and Japan. This is a green form, which we commonly see, but there are variegated forms, variegated meaning irregularities in the leaves, uh, absence of chlorophyll where you see yellow, cream, white, configuration sometimes uh, marginal, sometimes uh, spotty, but those uh, variegated ones are very rare and they can uh, fetch very high prices in Japan. Anyhow, this is a palm that grows moderately, uh, attaining a height of about seven to eight feet. It makes a great screen if you want to uh, uh, block out some neighbors or someone looking into your screen enclosure these uh, grow great and they multiply so you can see this is the main stem up we have a second and third one and which is really unique on the trunks of these they have matted fiber you can see how it's kind of interwoven around the trunk of course main source of reproduction is uh, asexual by producing offsets and then of course when the tree reaches a age of reproduction by means of sexual reproduction or put out a flower stalk and then uh, you can germinate them by seeds but cold hardy to about maybe 25 degrees best in filtered light or shade again another palm that will become kind of bleached uh, from the sun like some of the other interior uh, low light palms very good in containers uh, you can put them on either side of your porch uh, you commonly see them in planter boxes in big hotels, Ritz-Carlton, Hyatt, uh, and office parks and malls. But it's a, it's a wonderful palm, and it has a very unique pomade-type leaf, and they call it the lady palm because it's supposed to resemble a lady's wrist and her uh, fingers here. So we carry them in earthworks in multiple sizes in this uh, five gallon, sometimes seven and 15. Give us a thumbs up, follow all. Follow us on all social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, of course, YouTube, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.